these are the magazines that Sam and Lonnie are putting together. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, Regional Director. And I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing that you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out uh, when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita boss lady. See you soon. Don't encourage her. Oh, that's the greenhouse area, I guess. Don't give up on this, honey. Well, she's being supportive. Okay, here's the kitchen area we saw on the map earlier. Nothing in here looks particularly tasty or exciting. Sam schedule working at Crown Burger on <laughs> Crown Burger. That's funny. On Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 to 7, Saturday, 12 to 6. Helen Margaret and Mitchell to Mr. Richard Morris Patermark. I don't know who they are. Friends, I guess. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on an event there. <laughs> but they went to the bad part of the woods and it got dark. Daniel said, are you scarred? <laughs> so Samantha said, no, are you? They laughed and beat more <laughs> into the bad part than they wheat, which is went to a part there was never there before, and there was a ship, a pirate ship, on an ocean. Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you can be the first mate. Daniel said, I'm the captain. And they went on the pirate ship, oh, aye aye captain, and started sailing away. So this is where the whole story started that she'd been writing. And remember when the boy went into the water or whatever and then came out as a woman? Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong. And I was thinking about how he used to be friends. How much I take him for granted. But... Instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. Well, what does that mean? Almost believed him. Congratulations on new position. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position. Wish to wish you luck in your final weeks and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the state forestry office. Mom got the new job. That's cool. Oh, wait a second. Rick's wedding, it said on there. Is that... Yeah, look at this. That's weird. 
Apparently he is pretty serious. They're getting married. What? And looks like canceled not going to Rick's wedding. Uh, on an anniversary trip instead. Interesting. The accidental pariah. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say... Oh, this is from the Unknown Dimension, which is, uh, the bookstore card that we had found a lot earlier. First, let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type of out there mass marketing shunning visionary expression <laughs> that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless works such as N.N. Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller, and Emil Krieger's off-band Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilizations, anxieties, delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern, suburban America wants, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves and is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear in the brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah, be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. We want to offer you a portion of the proceeds contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to trusting, thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of the unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Interesting. So this company is interested in publishing Dad's books, which is probably going to excite him, even though it's weird. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd to 7th. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. So that's where everybody is. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. There's still the safe in the basement that we haven't quite figured out yet. But I guess that's where everybody is. And since we kind of called last minute, that's why everyone's gone, I guess.
because let's see here yeah June 6th 95 and they're on until where's the kitchen yeah right here they're on their anniversary camping trip And it looks like uh, Sam has decided to take off, but but got the message that I was coming home. But then, was it her that called and left the messages on the voicemail after, knowing that I'd be home now? Dear Kaz, from the pen of Terrence Greenbrier, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending co along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Pretty creative there, pops. The accidental human. Couples counseling retreat. Oh... Summer session, June 3rd to 7th, so that's... They're at a couple's counseling. Where will do it? Final preparations are complete? What are they doing exactly? Secret door. The foyer. Oh. I know exactly where that is. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look what? through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up. I was finally alone. Okay, she said something about... She sent Oscar off? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them... Realized what? they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. 
They've been trying to communicate with him, it looks like. There's a little pentagram. What? A box of honey snaps. I know the where this goes. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Are things turning for the grim here? Always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. Kick ass. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Okay, things are starting to make sense. So the, the things on the answering machine were Lonnie calling for Sam. And so that's where she took off to. She ran off with Lonnie. Letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know. I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Oh, that was such a cool experience. Really, really cool. I missed the, there's one thing that I missed and it was the safe, um, which is too bad. But I'll probably, I'll probably load it up and try to find it uh, on my own. But really, really cool. What an awesome story. It, it, the interesting thing is that I've I had this like all these morbid kind of undertones. I thought that things were just going to be like I thought it was going to be scary, right? With the uh, the way that's like the psycho house and all that kind of stuff. Maybe there's more in that safe that explains that aspect. But what a cool story about like self discovery of well, obviously my little sister Sam. 
discovering herself in her teens and writing to us about it. What a really, really cool. I wish there were more games like this because that was unbelievable. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I sat here and I played this just straight. I don't even know how long it's taken me. Oh my god. That's so great. The Fulbright Company, man. Big thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed this, please consider going and either emailing them or sending them a message on Twitter or buying the game. Like, just support this company. This is so cool. I would love to see them do like a more of a feature length game and incorporate other elements. Like, really, really cool. Really great. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did as well. And uh, yeah, awesome, awesome game. Thanks again to Harrison Greaves for sending this game to me. Really, really nice view. And uh, what an experience. So great. So great. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making this. That was the shit. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the support. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.